today I'm here with a, another unhaul video. I recently went through my shelves and I realized I have a lot of books that I have not talked about on this channel since I've read them. I haven't even thought about them. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna send them to the thrift store so somebody else could possibly enjoy them and I have more room for all the books that I've recently accumulated because it's been a lot because your girl has no self-control. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> there are quite a few so I'm just going to speed through them so that we can get through this video and not make it 15 minutes long. The first book I honestly kept because it was the first author who ever like reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to read one of his books so it was more like a sentimental thing to me. The book was good, I did really enjoy it but I've literally never talked about it since and it is a Crazy Mixed Up World by Kevin Zedrill. I actually have three of his other books but I've never read them yet so should get on that. It actually was a good book. It was one of those where like everything ties together in the end and all the characters like come together some way like Valentine's Day. You know that movie? It was like that. But it was actually cool but literally have never even looked at it or thought of it since. The next one again I actually really did like. It was one of the first Goodreads giveaways that I won so it was again more of a sentimental thing to me. But I've never looked at it since, but it is The Imposter by Sarah Pratt. It's like a suspense thriller mystery thing. It was good, but I don't need it on my shelf anymore. The next book, honestly, I kept because of the cover. I liked it. And it is Keep Sweet by Michelle Dominiguez Green. Yeah, I got it right. Do you know how long that took me? A really long time. It's like an Amish book. I, I don't know why... I have it in the first place or why I read it but it was okay I liked it but never looked at it since. The next book again it was one of the first Goodreads giveaways that I won so it's more of a sentimental thing to me. I enjoyed it I think I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5 stars I don't remember it was so long ago but it is All Fall Down by Jennifer Weiner. Never talked about it again since, so goodbye. The next book I kept because it was an eating disorder book, and if you've been on this channel for a while, you know, like, I'm into mental health, and I'm very interested in eating disorders. I know, I'm super weird. It is Looks by Madeline George. I did really enjoy this book, but I've never looked at it since. Can you tell the theme of this video? The next book I'm getting rid of because of one of the authors. There's been a lot of controversy lately around him, and I did really like this book, and I love the cover, but he's just too extra for me. And it is Even Adam by Michael Grant and Kristen Applegate. Just look at the cover, it's so pretty, but like, the author. The author, though. The next two books are by the same author, and I think I kept them just because I like saying her last name. But they are Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac and Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. I just love saying Zevin, but again, they're mediocre books. Like, they're not amazing in my opinion, so if I can make room for books that I love more on my shelves, then that's what I'm gonna do. The next book? I kept because I thought that the formatting of the book was really cool and it is A.S. King's Please Ignore Veridite. I liked it, it was okay, but it's not anything I've thought about since. I'm never going to pick it up again, I just thought it was cool so I kept it. But if somebody else can enjoy it, I would rather that happen. The next two books are by the same author. I have a love-hate relationship with him. I either love the books or I hate them completely. It is Every You, Every Me by David Levithan and Every Day by David Levithan. I kept this one because I thought like the mediums and everything in it was really cool how there was like pictures throughout it. And then this one I kept because I enjoyed the story and I wanted to find the second book but I haven't been able to find it so like I don't know I don't need it so it's going away. The next book that I have is Slide by Jill Hathaway. I remember reading this and thinking it was really cool because it's about a girl with narcolepsy and I've never read a book about a girl with narcolepsy so I thought it was interesting but literally have never thought of it since so goodbye. The next book I hated with such a passion I didn't even make a rant review video about it because it's not even worth it. It is My Favorite Fangs by Alan Goldshire, don't read it, don't pick it up. I'm sorry to whoever buys this next. The next book is Haunting Violet by Alexander Harvey. I think I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. It was entertaining when I was reading it, but I'm never going to reread it. I have no interest in rereading it, but like I really like the cover, so I'm a, kind of sad that it's going. But I need to make room for more books. That's the logic behind this. We're going with it. It's leaving. Goodbye, purple book. 
next book I was really disappointed with because I wanted to love it so dang bad and it is The Book of You by Claire Kendall. I had heard that it was kind of like You by Caroline Kepneys and I absolutely loved that book but this this was nothing like it other than it was a stalker story but like nowhere near as thrilling or exciting. It dragged on completely and I just know. So it's going Oh, and then the final book is The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. I did like this while I was reading it. It was entertaining. It's about carnivorous spiders. So, like, it was a cool concept, but I'm never going to reread it. So, it's going to the thrift. All right, guys. So, that was my big unhaul video. A lot of the books I really did like. So, I'm kind of happy that I'm giving them away just because other people can enjoy them, too. Hopefully. Let me know down below if you've read any of them, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!